in this video I'm gonna be showing you probably the easiest money play in Madden um, this play is very good especially if your opponent is double mabling their, their their coverage if they're running man coverage if they're running match coverage this is a simple play that I feel like not enough people run and I wanted to break it down in this video for you now if you're new to the channel my name is Cody we do videos like this every single day our goal is to help people become better Madden players and so I wanted to teach you a simple route combination out of bunch you can do this route combination um, out of really any formation and it's going to work very well you can see here I've got my standard little uh, double Mabel meta and I'm going to show you how this play works now the play we're going over in this video is flood out of the gun bunch formation and I'm going to be giving you a couple of key ways to run it the best way in my opinion is the first way that i'm going to show it to you and if you are watching this and you want to check out my full gun bunch ebook i'm going to put a link in the description to my patreon you can get all my ebooks uh all season long by joining that it literally already have over 22 offensive and defensive ebooks so if you want to check it out there's a link in the description below uh, where you can go check it out but what i want to show you is i want to show you how good this is against a double mabel coverage and all you're going to do, the only adjustment that I do is put the running back on an out route. Okay, put the running back on an out route and just quick snap the ball. And what you'll see is this out route will get in between the zones on the right side of the screen. So if they have a 25-yard flat and a 5-yard curl flat, you're going to notice that this in particular uh, play is only going to go, and I'll show it real quick here in just a second. Let me get my setup in on D. Um, but what you're going to notice is this flood out route. It's going to go about 12 to 15 yards. So you see I'm on the 20. The ball is going to get him, hit him right at that. That was actually a little bit of a poor animation. But you see the idea. It's going to go right at about 15, probably 10 to 15 yards. Sometimes it'll go a little farther if he gets bumped like that. But most of the time, he's going to be doing exactly what we want him to do and just sitting in between those zones. Now, um, the other thing that I like to do with this, um, this concept here, um, is it's also really good for any kind of defense and I'll show you what I'm talking about so one of the things that you'll notice and I'm gonna actually get out of zone drops because obviously zone drops are going to it's gonna be wide opening in zone drops right um, but one of the things you're gonna notice here is if I run some ba some basic what I call basic defense right no zone drops um, if I'm gonna cover four you're gonna see here oftentimes the flat will suck down and you see he's wide open right so if I'm in cover four, cover three, it doesn't really matter. Now, the best coverage to defend this is definitely the cover three, okay? And I'll show you why. Um, notice that you can just throw this flat right to the tight end and get an easy, you know, 10, 5 to 10 yards every single time. What's really good about this flat right to the tight end is he kind of shoots outside, and it's an outside pass lead. You want to rack catch that and truck, and you're going to see, like I said, very simple, but it's so good because they have to hard flat. And if they hard flat that, that tight end flat, then you've got the out right there. So now what they have to do is we put them in a position where they have to put a cloud or cur curl flat and a hard flat, right? And this is where my second setup comes in. When they start to do that, what I like to do is take the running back, or not the running back, I'm sorry, the slot and put him on a hitch. And the reason why I like the hitch is because now both of those zones will fall away from the hitch and he'll be wide open. I'll show that again. Got a little bit of a wonky animation there. But again, if they curl flat the outside guy and they hard flat the linebacker, and then they're going to be using right here, right? So what you'll see is this hitch to circle should be wide open on the cut. He's kind of getting bumped weirdly. So I'll show it to you one more time. And then I'll show you another version if for whatever reason that's giving you trouble there's some other things that we can do. Uh, kind of weird that, kind of weird that it's doing that. But anyways, normally he doesn't get bumped that bad. So anyway, here hitch, and you see here the hitch. Wow, Kenny Clark just coming through. Uh, the hitch is wide open. <laughs> um, whatever. So the hitch is wide open. I'm gonna go over man coverage in just a second, but the hitch should be wide open. And typically you're gonna get something that looks essentially. You know, kind of like this. They'll probably take this guy, you know, and put him in a three rec because he defends the running back fairly decently. But again, just put the hitch out there. And as long as you don't get screamed at, it's going to be wide open right there. Okay. So you have the hitch as a concept if you want to. Another thing you can do is if they're doing, 
if they're truly doing that, and I'm not saying you have to do this because you don't have to do it this way, but if you just want it, if you wanted to try something a little different, what you could also do, um, what you could also do is you could take the slot who's on the out and just put him on the hitch, and you'll see that he'll get open a little faster. So if you know that they're doing that, you could easily just do that adjustment right there. Okay, really simple. But now what this forces the defense to do is it forces them into a coverage that they probably don't want to be in. They have to have a curl flat here. They have to have a hard flat here. And then they have to have a vertical hook over here to Lowry. That means they have to put this defender into a bluff blitz assignment um, or something, right? Some kind of zone. So he's, he's going to have to be in, in coverage, basically. But the problem is they, they, they can't drop all of these coverages over here. So this guy has to be in a three wreck. If he's not in a three wreck, the blitz won't come in or there won't be any sheds, which I'll go back, come back to in just a second. But notice this about the hitch. If they do all of those adjustments, notice the hitch is still wide open. The three wreck doesn't guard it. They have to have a vertical hook. So, so now what we force them into is we force them into, into cover two, right? We force them into having to play cover two so that they can get that a, a additional underneath coverage over here to try to defend that concept. Well, that's where, again, obviously verticals is a cover two killer, so you can easily just call verticals. The other thing I want to point out, though, is this running back out route really is good because if they don't hard flat, it's wide open every single time. So just take your running back flat route with this. Um, if you wanted to motion out this fade or streak, you could do that. Um, you know, But again, this simple play right here is so, so, so good. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is that this out route to Godwin is really effective at getting separation against man this year. I don't know why, but it just does. It was really good last year. This year, it's really good. Like, it's even better than it was last year at getting the separation against man-to-man. -man. Just put the running back on it out. You see, it doesn't matter if he gets jammed. It doesn't matter whatever. It's wide open every time. And I think it's just because the smart routed out routes and smart routed in routes this year are really effective at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now, let's say that they, um, you know, cover that. Well, then you've got this route over here to Fournette. Now, if you have a little bit better route running than I have, that's going to be way more open than it was. Um, it should have been a lot more open. Typically, this running back out route will just absolutely expose man coverage. And it's so simple. Just rat catch that, break a tackle, and, you know, you can get up field and get some yards. So, really simple beater for man. And then that's going to cause them to have to put two purples on the field like this. And now the whole middle of the field is open for your dig, which is also one of the best man beating routes in the game. Smart routed outs and smart routed ins are so good. That's what makes this play so good. These deep digs and deep outs are really, really effective. And then let's say that again, you're watching this and you're like, you know, I just, I just want a little bit better um, combo maybe for the blitz. Block the tight end and put Miller on a flat. Now you have a high low on the right and a high low on the left. And it's basically the same exact thing. Notice that dig just gets in such a tight spot. Um, it really does a great job. You're going to force your opponent to have to run cover two to stop this. And then once they start running cover two, everything becomes open because they can't cover the whole field. And so as you can see here again, if they blitz you, that play right there is so good against it because you still have the high lows on both sides of the field. And it's still relatively quick. Literally just come out, match protect, put the running back on an out put Miller on a flat and then just snap the ball and you'll see right here you got to work on your in route a little bit there but the timing was a little bit off but as you can see it's it's a really good concept and it just it just puts the defense in tough position now there's a lot more we can do with this if we want to do um, one of the things that I like to do is double drags so I'll drag the tight end and I'll drag the back and you'll see right here this tight end drag is really underrated at getting open right so you can get the tight end drag going um another thing one of my favorite things to do is to do this right here just a max protect but instead of the flats we're going to use drags and you see how good these little drags are on this play so there's so much you can do with the concept but in my opinion you know either run it like this right here you could also if you wanted to put a wheel but just one hot route to the back and snap or what you could do is a hitch and the hitch is so good against zone. Um, it just puts them in a position where they just can't they can't cover everything. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full bunch ebook, it's gonna be linked down below in my Patreon. Uh, I've been ha had a bunch ebook out literally probably I think the second day of the game, and it's been 
arguably the best offense and probably the best that it's ever been in Madden. So if you want to get that ebook, there's a link in the description below. And uh, the cool part with the Patreon is you get all of my ebooks. So you get my bunch ebook, my trips ebook, my uh, doubles ebook, all of them. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description. You can head on down there and check that out. Get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our weekly update videos that we do over there to keep you guys updated on the best uh, strategy, best content in Madden.